Hi, this is Ms. Delosier, and this is a quick video on using the Uniprot website to go ahead and do a blast alignment search for protein similarity. So in English, we're going to use a website to go ahead and see how many amino acids are different between proteins. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the Uniprot website. It's uniprot.org, or you can get there from the link um, on the BioNerdery. So this is the site, and you're going to want to search for your gene of interest in the search bar at the top. Now you guys are going to be searching for hemoglobin. I'm actually going to search for um, I'm going to search for uh, NADH dehydrogenase because I'm not doing your lab for you. Um, so you're going to search for your gene name there at the top and it's going to give you a whole bunch of different um, queries at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look at my gene name. So if you see the gene names right here. So I'm going to select organisms that have the same gene name. And I'm just going to select three or four at random um, that I want. So I think I'm going to take this um, MTND4. So I'm going to search just for that actually. So you guys could be searching for MTND4 uh, and then a name. So like if I want human, I can go ahead and do that. And you would be searching for hemoglobin human. And that's going to give me my, my, uh, my gene right there. So I'm going to select it and then I'm going to add it to the basket. And what that's going to do is if you look here, it's going to save it for later. So I can go ahead and look at later. Um, and then I'm just actually going to go look for three sequences that are not human for this and select three at random. You obviously need to choose the ones that are um, the other eight sequences. So I'm going to take dog, I'm going to take zebrafish, and we'll take fruit fly. Those are good. And I'm going to add all of those to the basket. Once you have all of your sequences selected, what you'll do is you'll go up here to where it says basket and you will click the box that is above the check marks, the one that's right next to entry, and that selects everything. Then you're going to select here where it says align. Um, so I will select align, and what that's going to do is it's going to take those gene sequences, uh, actually it's taking the protein sequences, so it's going to take the amino acid sequences for each of those four organisms and line them up and do a comparison. So you're going to actually see how many amino acids do they actually share. And this takes um, a while. So, hey, that one was actually pretty short. Yours is probably going to take longer. So you'll see here we've got an alignment. So I've got my human, Drosophila, that's fruit fly, um, zebrafish, and dog. And if you look, you can see um, any time that the letters are exactly the same. So M, 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 right down the front of that one, L, 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 K, K, K. Those are all the same. Um, L, I, V, I. So I've got differences there. So there's some information. If there's stars, they're exactly the same. Um, the colon means something different from the period, and that information is in your lab, and I'm not going to tell you because you need to actually figure it out on your own. But basically, it's going to give you an alignment for the whole sequence, and your sequence is much shorter than this. Um, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to look at the tree. So the tree is going to tell you how related they are to one another. So here's the tree, and the tree basically explains a branching pattern. So if you look here on the tree, the two that are the closest together are the human and the canine, which those are both mammals, so you would kind of expect that. Then the next one is um, the Q9MIY1 uh, is actually the zebrafish, and then this P18931 is actually the Drosophila. So that is your tree. Now when you actually take that tree, you can go ahead and you can long hold and you can save that, or you can screenshot it, but you do need to actually write the, the species name, the scientific species name, and it's probably a good idea to write the common name there too. Now. For those of you that are watching this video, I'm going to show you a trick here. Um, if you actually go in, you can select uh, just a couple sequences, and actually the easiest way to do this is to go back into your basket and to just select two sequences. So I'm going to select the zebrafish and the dog sequences, and I'm going to select a line. One of the things that you have to do 
on this activity is calculate the percent identity between the two organisms. So you have a matrix table where basically you have to say what percent of the amino acids between each of your pairs are the same. So what percent of the amino acids in hemoglobin are the same between humans and chimpanzees or humans and the, um, the, the rock cod or humans and the dog. So you can do that by doing the calculation that is actually listed in there, going through, looking at each sequence, highlighting, calculating the differences. But what you can also do is you can just take the species two at a time and it will actually calculate it for you. Um, so we're waiting. This is actually taking a little longer. Apparently there's a lot of people doing blast searches right now. Okay, so now it finally lines just the two up, right? So now what I do is I go here, so where it says result info, and I click result info, and then I scroll all the way down to the bottom, and magically, do you see it tells you how many identical positions there are? And it tells me the percent identity, and that's the number that you want. So if I was filling out an identity matrix um, for this gene between the species zebrafish and the species dog, the percent similarity would be 61.087%. So um, hopefully that helps you navigate the website. Um, if you play around with it a little bit, uh, you'll be okay. Just remember to use the basket, remember to use your check boxes for display, and remember to actually look at the gene abbreviation, not just the name, because there's a whole bunch of different hemoglobins. You're looking for specifically HBB.